WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday. Three hours left to go in the trading day and quite a rebound in markets. We have a new all-time high in the S&P, new all-time high in the NASDAQ. Not many of us maybe thought we would be saying that at 8 p.m. last night when markets were down between 1.5 and 2% quite a change right now we have the s p's up 23 points trading at 32.58 dow jones up 200 points trading 28,784. nasdaq up 72 points trading at 91.41 not that long ago we just crossed the 9,000 mark in the nasdaq gold contract quite a reversal gold trading inversely with the market you have gold down 11 dollars at 15.63 oil check this out down almost three dollars at 59.76, you almost hit $66 last night on the escalation. You're talking about a $6 reversal in the price of oil. Notes and bonds, we have a little bit of lower price and higher yield. The 10-year off eight ticks at 128.29. The 30-year off 22 ticks at 156.23. And the dollar index up 255 ticks at 97.261. Let's start it off. We'll check out the indices. We'll start it off with the Dow. I'm including in the chart the area of the lows that we were at last night, just shy of 8 p.m. Eastern time. We were trading at 28,108. You're up almost 650 Dow points. We were about negative more than 400 points. We're now positive more than 200 points. NASDAQ 100 lows last evening under 8,700. We're now above 8,900. You're talking about 240 NASDAQ 100 points. There's your S&P. We were trading at about 3,181, I believe, the low in the S&Ps. We're now trading 3,258. You're talking about almost 80 S&P points from low to high. Crude oil, there is your reversal. My goodness, right? We got the EIA numbers at 10.30 a.m. this morning as well. The market was looking for a draw. We ended up getting a build. That adding to the negative pressure on the price of crude, now under $60. Not many would have thought that would have been happening by 1 p.m. today as of 8 p.m. last night. And gold pulling back as well, now at 15.62 after trading above 60 and 10. Stay tuned, folks. We got our man Steve Rhodes coming up live with the Trader's Edge right now. Dave White live at 2 o'clock with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien live at 3 o'clock. Should be an interesting finish to the day. Lots of action, new highs in the market. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.